Hello everyone, I'm Cobra Guru. I am back in the crew wild run for a video about plenty of things. The first thing that I will uh, show you today is something that I completely forgot to explain previously. You have seen my videos uh, in which I uh, level up my character to 60 and I completely forgot that from 50 to 60 we are earning perks point yes and I'm pretty sure that some of you may have also forgotten that so uh, as I had already a lot of points I earn only nine myself from 50 to 60 but I'm pretty sure that Logically, everyone earned 10. And you can see that the maximum available points in the game is 181. I have already explained in other videos that I bought them using uh, crook, um, bucks, sorry. And now I have everything. And uh, as soon as you will feel everything you will get this award perk powered upgrade every perk to maximum level for every character that's uh, with the license plate the Sweden license plate <laughs> why not The second info of today, this is a personal achievement info. I have leveled up all street vehicle to 1497. Uh, all those that are Wild run. Uh, you can see uh, I have leveled them up all to 1497. I have already said that there is only uh, I think two or three vehicles with crew credits that I haven't bought because I am not as enough fan of Cadillac to buy the Eldorado 1957. Uh, I won't put a uh, real euro to buy some cars, I, it's not my way of doing that. And all those that are able to be bought with bucks are only the uh, calling all units cars. Yeah, maybe the Mini Cooper, I will see another time. This is something important. I have shown you the tips, the way of leveling the cars from 50 to 60 or even from 40 to 60. It seems that it's working with the jump number 31 in Miami. The problem is that 37 circuit vehicle plus 15, 52, plus 60, 112, plus 22 and 28, 50, 162 cars, vehicles, because they are bikes, to level up. Mm, mostly mine were 12.99, nearly all, 99%, I believe. So 162 cars. Considering that leveling a car from 50 to 60 using the jump, the skill jump number 31, is like 10 to 15 minutes. Multiply 162, it's too much. Too much time for me. So, uh, I advise you 
to uh, street dirt and raid by the upgrade parts from the uh, tuner. Perf, I will show you. Uh, okay, let's take the M. Okay, perfect. M4. M4 performance vehicle. If you upgrade from 50 to 60, so from 1299 to 1497, it will cost you 11 multiply 22,634 bucks. Okay, so. A uh, little bit less than 250,000 bucks. So it's not much. The only issue, there is 60 performance car. So except if you are 250 multiply 60 performance car, it's 15 million bucks. Eh? So we will be able to do it but with time, not in a single uh, day. Because if I'm correct, I've never reached 10 million. I have always... Uh, I like one. Which one? Seriously? Okay, so as there is 60 performance car, 15 million is a lot. So from time to time, I'm believe that the best way is to level them up uh, uh, half. The real issue will be for the circuit vehicle. Because To upgrade the vehicle, uh, this thing that I will say now is a certainty. I have done it already. Leveling a 749 or 1299 is the same price, okay? I mean, leveling a, a car level 40 or a car level 50 cost 42,000 bucks for one part. Multiply 11. Yeah, you have the number, it's uh, 460 around. So even if there is less circuit cars, vehicle. I prefer to say vehicles because there is cars and motorbike. Uh, than performance one, it's the same, it will cost uh, a lot. Okay, 1497. So, yeah, 37 circuit vehicle. So, it's still a lot also, eh? 37 multiply uh, uh, 450, it's close also of 15 million. Eh? And to prove you what I was saying, uh, yeah, let's take the Dodge Charger. So, from 40 to 60, it's also 42,000 bucks, okay? So, my advice, if you want to level up all your circuit cars, if you, are, if you own all circuit vehicles, better is to jump. Street, dirt and raid, 28 plus 22, 50 vehicles, plus 15, 65 vehicles, they cost less. Uh, the street it was uh, six thousand five hundred bucks or something like that. So it's cheap. Dirt will cost a little bit more, but less. Puff is twenty two thousand. Red. It may be. It may be. Uh, do I have a red uh, fourteen ninety seven? First of all. Logically, yeah. Yeah, the Nissan Skyline, eh? you see it's here. So, let's... 
So, how much it cost? Ah, 32. It's what I was uh, thinking. The price is increasing from street to circuit. So street six and a half, performance 22. So we can believe that uh, dirt will cost around 11 or 12,000. Uh, performance 22, raid 32 and uh, circuit 42. So, red 32,000 multiplied 11 vehicle. 350 multiplied, uh, sorry, 11 parts. Multiplied 15 vehicle, it's 5 million. So, my real advice is level up your circuit vehicle from uh, till 1497 using the jump do a majority of performance also using the jump because performance and circuit you won't have difficulties to jump red it's tougher this jump is short you will need to go on another jump uh, for example the one that is uh, near Chicago jump 11 Yeah, luckily. So this jump is the best to use for slow, heavy vehicles, dirt and red car. Why? <laughs> you understand why, yeah? Look. Considering that you need to be around 200 kilometers by hour on the ramp, You see, eh? it will be long, for sure, but it's probably uh, the solution. Maybe the speed... Uh, uh, let me see. Where is it? I don't see how I can do it with a raid car, but... Ah, you see, it's not possible to do it using a raid or uh, a dirt vehicle. No possibility. So, this was my advice. Use the jump skill number 31 for circuit and performance vehicle, even street if you want, but Considering the price of leveling a street car, 11 multiply 6 at 70,000 bucks, uh, it's uh, not complicated. 60 performance vehicle and 32 circuit vehicle will be uh, 30 million bucks. So, but uh, to use the jump skill to level them up to 14.97. Dirt and raid, it will be uh, longer, but well, it's like this. Thank you all for watching this video, have fun, uh, play a lot, take care of you and see you soon, bye bye. Audio.